Coming into 2017, Justin Thomas, uh, what we knew about him was just what we hoped he could be, what we thought he could be. Potentially a star in, in waiting, but hadn't won enough to be taken that seriously. He'd come up through the ranks with Jordan Spieth. He just hadn't won the biggest events and performed on the biggest stages like Jordan Spieth. Technically, his first win of the season came back in 2016, but he really announced himself with back-to-back -back wins, including a 59 uh, at the Sony in Hawaii in January. Justin Thomas goes over to Hawaii as maybe a top 30 player in the world, and he comes away from Hawaii as a top 12 player in the world. If you could distill his entire season into one shot, it was at three wood into the 18th hole at Aaron Hills. He lands it right at the pin, trickles out to eight feet. He sits on his bag, waits forever, makes the putt, signs his card for a 63, and really enters the history books right alongside Johnny Miller. That was Justin Thomas in a nutshell. He can hit shots that almost nobody else can. By the time the PGA Championship rolls around, we're at Quail Hollow, Jordan Spieth is going for the career Grand Slam, Rory McIlroy owns that place. Everyone's talking about those guys as the favorites. He starts off again, kind of slow on Sunday, and eventually on the back nine is when the magic starts. And this was where he really took his game, his profile to the next level. On the 10th hole, he has a poor chip, leaves him, leaves him about eight feet for birdie, and he hits this putt and it trickles right to the left of the edge of the cup. People are just waiting for this thing to fall. Finally, it falls. And what does he do? He flashes that huge JT grin, tips the cap, and moves on to the rest of his back nine. When he won by two at Quail Hollow, you know, to cap off such a good season, five wins, his first major championship, pretty much did it all this year and jumped all the way to number three in the world. That was really the icing on the cake for an incredible season. He ends up finishing second at the Tour Championship. That's all it takes and all of a sudden Justin Thomas is your player of the year.